The following is a special presentation from MTN, the Montana Television Network. Sports proudly presents Pal Panther football. Tonight's the Pal Panthers trying to regroup and rebound after the injury to their starting quarterback, Ethan Asher, who is still recovering as the Panthers will try to play and win without their starting quarterback. A couple have stepped in, though, including Landon Langfelder. Ethan left the house about 7.30 like he does every day, was headed out the door and just kind of yelled back, love you, to me, because I was across the house and his dad was in the doorway with him. And just a typical day, there wasn't anything off or actually it was a really good day. Second day of school, the kids were pretty excited. He was really excited about football. Um, Everything was just kind of playing out for his senior year. It was Tuesday, August 27th. As Ethan made his way to school, his truck drifted just off the right shoulder. He overcorrected. His truck rolled three times. Ethan was not wearing his seatbelt and was ejected from the truck. I think every parent's worst nightmare is that phone call of, hey, you need to get to the hospital. Just that gut dropping feeling, you're, you just, your whole world stops. Emergency responders were able to stabilize Ethan before he was life flighted to the Billings Clinic. We measure injury severity scores for patients who come in and he was one of the most injured patients that we had come through Billings Clinic uh, in 2019. Ethan had severe head and brain trauma, a tear in his aorta, and a heavily damaged spinal cord that left him paralyzed from the waist down. A spinal cord injury by itself is something that's extremely difficult to recover from. So that on top of a brain injury like Ethan had makes recovery, a meaningful recovery, even less likely. We had really no idea whether he would make it through a a trauma this severe. We thought there was a pretty reasonable chance he would die from his injuries. We knew there's big things planned for Ethan, you know, his whole life kind of, um, we knew he had a purpose and we knew that it was, it was big. The emotions that you go through, the roller coaster of the moment was terrifying. It was um, hopeful. It was like just immediately Andy and I both just began to pray right off the bat. God, please save our son. Whatever's going on, just give us the strength to get through this. God, just show up, is what we just kept saying. Just be here with us. And, and we both just had this overwhelming, get him through this, God, and whatever we get on the other end is fine. Like, we're, we will deal with whatever. Just, just please don't take our baby, is really what it was. I'm so good, buddy. The first time, it was, it was really hard. I had to... I had to step out of the room. It was hard to keep myself together. And the time before that, we were all having fun. We were all hanging out in the locker room after practice, just laughing, just hanging out and being friends. And and then the next time I saw him, he was in a bed in a coma. And it was just, it was very, very hard to see him like that. It's been a tough week and a half. I know for the whole team, Ethan really had an impact on everyone around him. He was one of my best friends, and I didn't even know him for very long. I I just didn't know why Ethan had to go through something like that. Ethan was a guy that was honest. He was an incredible leader, and um, he was someone that all the guys rallied behind. When Ethan was going somewhere, he had guys following him. And as, as our quarterback, he was really what you wanted because he was out to make everyone better. That is no good, buddy. 
he's a leader and you want to work as hard as you can for him every play and he's just someone who always picks you up. As Ethan was fighting for his life, the Powell Panthers were fighting for the courage to move forward, fighting for a purpose to carry on the legacy and spirit of a fallen teammate. People are looking around a little bit and they're wondering, you know, what, what next? What do we do? But we all knew um, what Ethan would want us to do and that is to keep going and keep pushing because his life was football. Four days after the accident, doctors were able to fuse Ethan's spinal cord and realign it to near perfection. As Ethan's condition improved, the Panthers' first game in front of their home fans inched closer. Shouldering the weight of winning was heavy, and no one knew that feeling more than Ethan's parents who had written a stirring message for the team. Don't just play for Ethan. Play for the win. Play for the title. But most of all, play for the brothers standing next to you and for the one that cannot. Don't quit. Don't stop. Now bring it. It said go for the win. Let's get it up, guys. Play for each other. Play for the brotherhood. And that allowed our boys, I think, the confidence to say, yeah, it's okay to go out there and play hard and, um, and, and do what we love to do, and that's to play football. It doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't make sense at all. But um, as hard as that is, it, it's not meant to make sense. But just to continue to trust and know that things are for a reason, and I think that that's what helps um, so many people drive on. All right, hey, let's go now. Let's go, baby. Every, every day you don't know what it's gonna bring, but I do know that um, there is a plan, and his plan is good. Touch! Abraham out of the I formation. Leg builder turns, hands it off to Abraham. Abraham breaks the tackle, breaks another tackle into the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers! 22 yard carry by Dave I just think that he's always on the field with us mentally, not physically yet, but. He's definitely that out there with us, and I was just, I was just so happy, and just love holding his jersey. On this night, the Powell community raised over thirty thousand dollars for Ethan and his family. A week earlier, 160 miles south of Powell, the town of Riverton raised more than six thousand dollars for the Asher family, and the list goes on. Parents and players from around the state and country offering support for someone most of them have never met. And at the heart of it is a family with incredible faith, strength, and love. Their faith is inspiring and, and it's, you know, they've been upbeat, you know, since, since the whole thing happened. And it's just really a testament to their courage and their faith that they're able to, you know, go through this. And it's just been awesome to see. Because of the severity of Ethan's brain injury, doctors weren't exactly sure who Ethan would be, what he would remember, or if he'd even be able to speak once he regained consciousness. He just stares. 
You don't know if he's looking at you. You don't know if he's looking through you. You don't know if he even knows you're in the room. It's just this empty, this emptiness that you just stare into day after day, week after week. On the morning of September 21st, 2019, as they were eating breakfast, Ethan's nurse came running. She said, you guys need to get back to the room right now. Right now. He just opened his eyes and said, hi, how are you? I was sprinting down the hall, and when I got to him, there was a nurse standing right beside him that was checking his oxygen and, and everything going on there. And she said, do you know who this is? And he said, mom. And it was very slow, but it was enough. And when he said, mom, I was like, okay, if I have to go home like this, I'm good. That's all I needed to hear. Thank you. It, uh, it's hard to explain the emotion that you I mean, it's the, probably the best thing I've ever felt. I mean, even being the, having the kids be born, um, you know, marrying my wife, it was, it was that best feeling that pretty much trumped it all. The boys won their game, their first game against Riverton, and they brought you the game ball. Um, I'll be excited to let them know what you're doing. Now awake, Ethan's fight continued. Fighting to regain his ability to not only move, but to speak. Don't, take too much. Don't try too hard. You just gotta rest. You got nothing but time, buddy. Nothing but time. It's okay. The road ahead was long, filled with many ups and many downs. But it was a road the Ashers embraced with every ounce of their faith. The helicopter pilot was very adamant about us seeing and touching Ethan in the helicopter. We didn't know until um, the next day that they had us come over because they didn't think he'd make it through the flight. It's very surreal to think about now. Um, with just his aorta alone, he wasn't supposed to leave the scene. He wasn't supposed to make it to the hospital. He wasn't supposed to make it to Billings. He wasn't supposed to make it through the night. Everything that wasn't supposed to happen, God showed up, which is exactly what we prayed for, that God would just change this story and make it happy. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. The time course of recovery in Ethan's case was remarkable. You know, coming in in a coma, um, recovering from that really is miraculous. Uh, Ow, meaning that was hard. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Good job. Good job. In early October, the Ashers chose to send Ethan to Craig, a world-renowned neurorehabilitation center in Denver, Colorado. Craig is a different atmosphere than I've ever experienced in my life, um, and I think a lot of patients and even staff could say that too. There's so much hope that is here, and there's so much drive for getting you the best situation that they possibly can. Did you push yourself all the way back up? I think so. <laughs> As Ethan continued his journey, his team continued theirs. Looking good, guys, looking good. It was an emotional roller coaster, honestly. There were times where we were doing super good and uh, we had a new quarterback in there stepping up and there were times where it was hard knowing that he wasn't out on the field winning those games with us, but he was always there and um, our mindset was just one game at a time. The same week Ethan arrived in Denver, the Panthers traveled to Cody to face off with their longtime rivals, the Cody Bronx. Hands it off. He's got a block. It didn't go well. Goes into the end zone. Cody rolled the Panthers, winning 38 to 14. That away, that away. There were things that went on in the middle of the year where we had some setbacks. Way to finish, Geller. Just as far as wins and losses go, we had to beat Green River to make the playoffs. That in itself was a playoff game in the regular season. Going into the playoffs as the fourth seed, I would say that we were underdogs, but you wouldn't have known that going to our practices. Jackson, two, one, two, three. Before the games, the excitement that I witnessed, the confidence that I saw, I, I knew our guys were ready. They would win their first round game over Lander easily, setting up a rematch with the team who only three weeks earlier had beaten the Panthers by more than three touchdowns. Uh, 
as a player, yeah, I was nervous. Um, I'm sure everyone was, but our senior leadership was great. We went into the locker room saying, let's, let's just do it one more time. Let's come off this field winning this time. Cody is a very, very good team. We knew that we had to play our best um, to be successful that night. Ethan's passion is football. Ethan played for the love of the game. He played for the love of the brotherhood. He was determined to go to state. He believes in every play then and every play now. Their win over Cody marked the first time ever that a Wyoming 3A team had made it to the title game as a four seed. Those boys. The day of the accident, those boys all showed up at the hospital. And we have received messages almost daily from somebody on his team that is contacting us and just saying, how's he doing? Look what you guys have done this whole season. This is you, you guys started from the very beginning and look what you guys have accomplished. Look what you guys are doing, okay? How about that brotherhood? Let's go, yeah. man, let's go! I just wanna hug every single one of them. Like I, the love that we feel for that team and for them to push through something like this, for them to make it to the state finals, Holy fright, like that in itself is just this huge um, accomplishment that they should be so proud of themselves. <laughs> we made it. How was your weekend? It was good. Yeah? I can't really remember what we did, but... Well, think about it. The best way I think I can describe this part of our journey that we're in right now is that every day is um, is a blessing. Every day is a new joy. Um, there's definitely some setbacks where you get frustrated, where he remembers things and then the next day he doesn't remember things. And so going through that process is just, it's a process. It's just that. And it literally feels like a roller coaster. So let's do this. Can you pull up right next to the mask? And so when we have those awesome, amazing days that he is just, he's remembering things and he's moving good and he's flexing and he's, everything is working like it should be. And then you're like just expecting that. And the goal here at Craig and the goal in his rehab all together is to do more of this and more plateaus and then just to keep going up, which is the area that we're getting into now. Got it? Yep. One, two, three, push. 
we got down here and, and they were great. They, they got us in and started doing therapy right away. Um, okay, we're gonna do that again. With his head injury, um, he's getting there, but he's not still as full self yet to where he pushes himself. Already tight, right? He handles it real well. I mean, he, he's a tough kid and he knows I, I'll push him. Yes, yeah, so much so where he, he, he knows if you're coming to stretch him, apparently yeah, he's not a big yeah. fan of you. He him does stretch. not like me stretching him. But, uh, well, I do a lot of things to him he doesn't like, so. Towards your knees, all right? Ready? Yeah, good. Now you can push all the way up on We had told the doctors, if our team makes it to state championship, is there any way? And they were like, you know what? Let's work towards it. Remember what you're going to do next? Um, push up. Lean forward, push up on your elbow, ready? Okay. One, two, three, lean forward, lean forward. There you go. Good. Okay, so you can probably shake this hand. Good. All right, straighten out. One, two, three, four, five. Every ounce of work the Panthers put in on the football field was rivaled only by the amount of effort Ethan was putting into rehab. Look at you holding yourself. Yeah. You're doing so much better. I love Thank it. You. Day after day, Andy and Tiffany would remind Ethan just how far he's come. Be it a newspaper clipping, pictures, or letters, it was all part of the healing process. Ethan has a couple of phrases that he says often. Usually when we say to him, this is what's going on, or we'll show him pictures. This is, this is the um, Lander and Powell coming together after the game and praying. This is what Lander did for you when we went there to play them. Reaction is always the same, oh wow. Over 400 shirts they sold in Cody for you. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. He said I wasn't 11 when 10 is already plenty. <laughs> That's you, that's your personality. He missed the game of football and being the captain he so fervently worked to become. But more than anything, he missed his friends. What does the timer mean? What does that mean? Time for me to tip back. Mm Sometimes the roads we travel aren't exactly the roads we mapped out. And yet, somehow, destiny has a way of finding us and bringing us to the place we were always meant to be. Ethan and his teammates were always meant to be together. And on this warm November day in Laramie, Wyoming, that's the very place destiny had brought them. Almost as soon as he came in and we all noticed him, it, it was just like everything kind of stopped. It's your boys! Yeah, it's good is. to see you, Ethan. Thank you. It's real good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you too, man. That's awesome. I prayed for Ethan and for his family every day, day and night. We got you a ball signed by our teammates for you. Okay. Thank That's you, buddy. Of course. Yes, sir. I just wish I could be here with you guys, you know? You're here with us, man. Yeah, always. Yeah. I just wish I could be in like the pads and stuff like you guys are. Yeah. What it means to you to be here with your team? It means a lot, mostly because they made it here without me, you know? But it means a lot to, for them to be here and for me to see all my teammates again because I haven't seen them in a while. So I need to thank you. Thank you. Our players hadn't been together with Ethan since zero week, which was our preseason. And then fast forward 12 weeks to the last possible time to play football for this season in the state championship game. And for him to go out on the field was amazing. This is so important to him to be there with his team, even though there's not a lot of memories that are sticking with it. These are his boys. This is his senior year. This is his last game with his boys. And we wouldn't have missed it for the world. Okay.
accompany the captains for Powell is Powell captain Ethan Asher. A big round of applause, please. Ethan looked on as his teammates struggled to match touchdown for touchdown with powerhouse Star Valley, who were looking for their fourth title in five years. As the temperatures dropped and Ethan moved from the field to the booth, one couldn't help but wonder of all the thoughts drifting in and out of a mind that had been through so much. But one thing was for certain, Ethan was home. We told those boys, it was shortly after the accident, you know, you know, stretch the season out as long as you can make it, you know, just give Ethan a chance to, to be at least be a part of one game. So, um, yeah. Them making it to where they did was, was pretty cool. I mean, they, yeah, they fought, they fought hard, so. I'm a man of science. I've spent my entire career studying science, but I'm a man of faith too. And I believe miracles happen. You know, medical science has its limitations, but I think faith has no limits. I pray for my patients every day. Certainly, Ethan was one of those patients. I think his is one of our stories of greatest success. I feel like uh, even though we lost, we won that game because Ethan was there and uh, our goal since freshman year was to go back to the state championship game and just to just to get there and beat Cody in the semifinals was in my book a win. We got him there and uh, so he can enjoy the experience and just soak, soak being in a state championship one more time. Ethan and the Asher family were the bond that kept us going, the bond that held us together and our driving force to get to where we did and how we did it. <laughs> 